what's good, hoop heads? Uh, your courtside analyst tips and streams is back in the game. On the slate today, breakdowns for the latest NBA matchups set to light up the hardwood. Before we tip off, make sure you slam that subscribe button on our YouTube channel to stay in the loop with all our predictions and top picks. So, let's get started. The first today's prediction is for the matchup between Milwaukee Bucks and New York Knicks. The upcoming showdown at Madison Square Garden, featuring the Milwaukee Bucks squaring off against the New York Knicks, promises to be an electrifying encounter. The Bucks, buoyed by a formidable six-game winning spree and flaunting a stellar 21-7 record, are set to battle the Knicks, who are holding their ground with a solid 16-11 standing. Milwaukee steps into the fray as the favored contender, tipped with a two-point advantage and a 57.4% victory probability as per Moneyline's estimates. The Bucks have been dazzling in their offensive play, notching up an impressive average of 124.4 points per game. They're ranked second in the league with a remarkable 49.8% success rate in field goals. Their dynamic lineup, spearheaded by the likes of Giannis Antetokounmpo, with his average of 30.6 points and 11.1 rebounds, and Damian Lillard adding 26. Three points and seven assists to the mix further fortifies their attack. In contrast, the Knicks have shown their mettle in defense, conceding an average of 111.4 points per game, which places them seventh in the league. They also excel in rebounding, averaging 45.8, ranking 5th. However, their offensive game trails somewhat, averaging 114.7 points per game and holding a 46.2% field goal percentage, 23rd in the league standings. The Bucks have historically had the upper hand in their engagements with the Knicks, highlighted by their emphatic 146-122 triumph in their most recent matchup. The Knicks, though in fine form, are grappling with injury woes, missing key players like Jericho Sims and Mitchell Robinson. Given both teams' current form and their past encounters, the scales tip towards a Bucks triumph in what's likely to be a high-scoring affair. The Bucks have shown their mettle in handling high-stakes games, as evident from their ongoing winning streak. With the Knicks averaging 124 points in their last seven games, it's evident both teams have been on a scoring roll, setting the stage for another high-octane clash. My wager? I'm betting on a total score exceeding 242.5, favoring the Bucks in this exciting matchup. The next prediction is for the match between Boston Celtics and Los Angeles Clippers. The Boston Celtics are tearing up the court with a stunning 21-6 run, positioning themselves as the team to beat. Their recent slam dunk of a game, where they trounced the Sacramento Kings 144-110, is a testament to their on-court supremacy. With six of their players dropping double figures, it's clear they've got depth in spades. They're navigating a tough stretch on a four-game West Coast swing, and even though they took an overtime hit against the Golden State Warriors, their grit is on full display. Meanwhile, the Clippers, boasting a solid 17-11 record, are bringing the heat, especially on their home turf with a six-game hot streak. The duo of ball-hogging guards, led by Kawhi Leonard's stellar 24.4 points, 5.9 boards, and 3.5 dimes per game, is meshing well. Their recent win over the Mavericks is proof of their comeback spirit and their chops to take on heavy hitters. Stat-wise, both teams are packing a punch. The Celtics, dropping 118.9 points per game on a 47.8% field goal clip and killing it from downtown with a 37.4% three-point rate, are a dual threat with their lockdown defense. The Clippers are right there with them, averaging 117 points and shooting 48.6%, showing they can score big while keeping the other team in check. When it comes to head to heads, the Celtics have historically dominated, winning 92 of 138 face-offs against the Clippers. This, along with their current mojo, gives them the upper hand in this showdown. But don't sleep on the Clippers, especially with Leonard's steady game and their home court advantage. Betting-wise, the Celtics are the one. Five-point picks, with a total point line set at 230. They've covered the spread in 12 of 27 games, a stat worth noting. The Clippers, though a bit softer against the spread, show up when counted out. Injury updates are key. 
Celtics frontman Jason Tatum is uh, maybe with an ankle issue, and Kristaps Porzingis is benched with a calf strain. These could shake up the Celtics' depth. For the Clippers, Leonard's status is up in the air, but his presence would be a game-changer. Looking at the stats, historical showdowns, and current form, this matchup is evenly matched, but leaning towards the Celtics to clinch it and beat the one-point spread seems right. Their depth, offensive firepower, and knack for bouncing back give them a slight edge in this high-octane clash. My money's on the Celtics to take this one. The next prediction is for the match between the Denver Nuggets and Charlotte Hornets. Tonight's matchup at Spectrum Center is shaping up to be a basketball spectacle. The Denver Nuggets, carrying a commendable 2010 record, are all set to challenge the Charlotte Hornets, who are navigating a challenging 7-19 season. Coming off a win against the Nets, the Nuggets are entering the fray with notable momentum. Anchored by Nikola Jokic's exceptional average of 26.3 points and 12.4 rebounds, their offense is firing on all cylinders, averaging 115.2 points at a 49% shooting rate. Their defense is equally impressive, restricting opponents to 110.3 points on 46.2% shooting. Additionally, their three-point shooting is formidable, hitting 37.3% from beyond the arc. The Hornets, however, are in a tight spot, marked by a six-game losing streak. Their latest setback against the Pacers is indicative of the season's struggles. Injuries have been a significant setback, with key players like LaMelo Ball and Cody Martin on the sidelines adding to their hurdles. Historically, the Nuggets have held the edge in recent matchups with the Hornets, securing victories in both of last season's games and demonstrating their dominance both at home and on the road. Considering the Nuggets' consistent performance, especially against Eastern Conference teams with losing records, they appear to be the frontrunners for tonight's game. Their ability to consistently beat the spread in these matchups further solidifies their status as strong contenders. It's a consecutive game scenario for the Nuggets, who have a decent track record in back-to-back games this season, winning five out of six, though covering the spread in only two. The Hornets, leveraging home court advantage, and a sizable plus 8.5 point spread could narrow the margin, indicating a more competitive game than the standings suggest. Factoring in potential fatigue from the Nuggets' consecutive games and the Hornets' rested state on their home court, I'm leaning toward a narrow victory for Denver. However, I'm wagering on the Hornets to beat the odds and cover the plus 8.5 point spread. This prediction balances the Nuggets' overall efficiency, their recent form, and historical advantage in this matchup against the Hornets' determination at home and the potential impact of fatigue on the Nuggets playing back-to-back game. The next prediction is for the match between Orlando Magic and Indiana Pacers. As the Orlando Magic and Indiana Pacers prepare to face off, we're gearing up for a basketball spectacle. The Magic boasting a 16-11 record, are desperate to break their four-game skid. Their defensive game is their ace card, as they rank fourth in points allowed, and their rebounding is not too shabby either, snagging 43.8 boards a game. Meanwhile, the Pacers, sitting at 14-13, are lighting up scoreboards with their high-octane offense, topping the charts in points and assists with an average of 127.1 points and 30.7 assists per game. Yet, their defensive game is their Achilles heel, languishing at 29th in points allowed. This stylistic clash promises a nail-biting showdown. The Pacers, who dominate on their turf with an 8-6 record, lean on Tyrese Halliburton and his impressive 24.2 points per game. The Magic, though stumbling in away games with a 5-8 record, have a knack for beating the odds, as seen in their 18-9 Neal season against the spread. This matchup is shaping up to be a tight one, with the Pacers slightly favored by a whisker. The over-under is set at a lofty 243.5 points, hinting at a scoreboard-busting clash. Considering each team's recent form and strengths, the Pacers, with their home court and offensive juggernaut, could just squeak past the magic in this intense tussle. I'm leaning toward a slim Pacers victory. The final score, likely falling below 243.5 points, will depend on the Pacers cracking the Magic's robust defense while keeping their scoring machine humming. My bet is on the Pacers to not only win, but also beat the spread. 
The next prediction is for the match between Houston Rockets and New Orleans Pelicans. The Smoothie King Center in the Big Easy is buzzing for this showdown, with the Pelicans rolling out the welcome mat. Home hardwood dominance plays big for the Pelicans, as teams usually ball out better on familiar turf. Sitting pretty at 17-12, the Pelicans have been lighting it up, especially in their nest, boasting an even slicker record. Their hot streak is on display, pocketing five wins in their last six hustles. The Rockets, clocking in at 14-12, have shown grit and a knack for turning the tables, evident in their bounce-back win against the Mavericks following stumbles against the Cavs and Hawks. Digging into the digits, the Pelicans snag a minus six-point spread favor and a 223.5 over-under. The Rockets pack a punch against the spread, particularly when squaring off with Western Conference squads. Yet, their away game and performance in back-to-back bouts stir some doubts. The Pelicans, meanwhile, keep a steady rhythm at home, both against the spread and in head-to-heads, especially when Houston's in town. Spotlight on Alperin Sengun and Fred Van Vliet of the Rockets for their steady heat, while the Pelicans lean on Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson, health permitting, to keep their scoring and boards game strong. Injury-wise, both crews are sitting pretty without major names benched. Betting Zion's rested and ready to bring it. History tips to the Pelicans when the Rockets roll into New Orleans, potentially playing mind games. Eyeing the Pelicans' solid home game, the Rockets' road woes and breaking down both teams' recent plays and stats, it looks like the Pelicans could fly high and beat the spread. Their consistency, home court vibe, and team synergy seem to tip the scales. Final play, I'm backing the New Orleans Pelicans to take it home and beat the spread. Rested, with a killer field goal and three-point game plus rebounding skills, all amped by the home crowd energy, put them as the top pick. My money's on the New Orleans Pelicans to triumph and clear the six-point spread. The next prediction is for the match between Memphis Grizzlies and Atlanta Hawks. Tonight's showdown on the court features the Memphis Grizzlies hustling with an 8-19 scorecard, squaring off against the Atlanta Hawks, who are holding their own at 12-16 at the State Farm Arena. This face-off is shaping up to be a nail-biter, with the Grizzlies grabbing a slim nod from the sportsbooks. The betting lines are tight, showing the Grizzlies leading by just 1.5 points, and the over-under hovering at a lofty 240.5, hinting at a scoreboard light-up. The Grizzlies are coming in hot, fresh-off victories against the Pelicans and Pacers. They're dropping an average of 106.4 points per game, hitting 43.7% from the field, while allowing 112.1 points on 45.6% shooting. Their offensive charge is led by Ja Morant, who's netting 27 points and snagging 5.5 boards per game, and Desmond Bain contributing 24.7 points and dishing out 5.2 assists. However, the Grizzlies often stumble on the road after a win, with seven losses in their last eight games under such circumstances. The Hawks, reeling from last night's defeat to the Heat despite a stellar 30-point game from Trey Young, boast a formidable offense, racking up 122.8 points per game, which ranks them third in the league, but their defense is leaking points, giving up 122.9 per game. Their recent form is shaky, with nine losses in their last 13 outings. Injuries are also tipping the scales in this matchup. The Hawks are benched with key players like Jalen Johnson and DeAndre Hunter out of action. The Grizzlies aren't in the clear either, with injuries to Brandon Clark and Luke Kennard and the status of Marcus Smart up in the air for tonight's game. Stat-wise, the Grizzlies have the defensive upper hand, but the Hawks' scoring ability can't be underestimated. The back-to-back game scenario for the Hawks might be a game-changer. They've had a mixed bag in such situations this season, winning only twice in five tries, with both wins at home. This might just tip the scales in favor of the Grizzlies, especially with the Hawks' wobbly defense. Given the Grizzlies' defensive prowess and the Hawks' potential back-to-back fatigue, it might be wiser to expect a scoreline lower than the bookies predict. The total points might not reach the set of 241. So, while the Hawks pack a punch offensively, the Grizzlies' defense and the Hawks' possible weariness could tilt the scales in Memphis's favor. My bet? I'm leaning towards the Grizzlies for the win, but more confidently betting on the total points to stay under 241. The next prediction is for the match between Detroit Pistons and Brooklyn Nets. The Detroit Pistons are hitting the hardwood at the Barclays Center with a record that's been a bit of a roller coaster. 
Their recent clash with the Utah Jazz ended in a 119-1-11 defeat, laying bare their playing style's pluses and minuses. They nailed a solid 50% in field goals and swished an impressive 84.2% at the free throw line. Yet their performance beyond the arc and on the defensive front could use some fine tuning as their 33% in three-pointers and conceding over 100 points in recent games testify. Meanwhile, the Brooklyn Nets are entering this game on the heels of a back-to-back, having faced off against the Denver Nuggets just last night. Still, they're a force to be reckoned with. Cameron Thomas is on fire, racking up an average of 24.4 points with a 45% shooting rate. But it's not all rosy for them, as they're lagging behind in the league, ranking 30th in steals and forcing opponent turnovers. The head-to-head scoreboard tells a tale of the Nets' upper hand over the Pistons in their recent encounters, boasting eight wins in their last ten matchups. However, when it comes to beating the spread, the Pistons have shown some tough skin. The current odds favor the Nets, but the Pistons could pull off a shocker, considering the Nets' struggles in back-to-back games. Reviewing both squads' recent performances at this venue, the Nets obviously have the home court advantage, but the Pistons have had their moments of sheer brilliance. The Pistons' dynamic duo, Cade Cunningham and Bojan Bogdanovic, are crucial for keeping the scoreboard ticking, while the Nets will lean on Thomas and Mikkel Bridges to spearhead their attack. Weighing up all these elements, my gut says the Brooklyn Nets are poised to snatch the win. However, with the Pistons known for covering the spread and the Nets possibly worn out from their back-to-back games, a nail-biter wouldn't be out of the question. Hence, I'm placing my bet on the Detroit Pistons to stay within this 10-point margin. The next prediction is for the match between Utah Jazz and Toronto Raptors. The Utah Jazz are dribbling through a turnover storm this season, bottoming the league with a whopping 16.9 turnovers per game. They're playing at a steady rhythm, averaging 99.1 possessions each game. But this turnover trouble could really shake things up in tonight's showdown, especially squaring off against a squad like Toronto. The Jazz are on a roll with the over, with 16 out of 29 games blasting past the expected total, a streak that might just keep bouncing. Flipping the court, the Toronto Raptors are keeping their game tighter, averaging a more controlled 14.2 turnovers per game, landing them at 20th in the league. They're slightly trailing Utah's tempo at 98.4 possessions per night. Though their defense isn't exactly top tier, ranking 22nd, the Raptors might still find some cracks in Utah's armor. Despite some scoring slumps, Toronto's assist game is strong, sitting pretty in the league's top three. Key player face-off, Utah's Lori Markkinen is tearing up the court, averaging 23.2 points and 8.5 rebounds. He's set to clash with Toronto's Pascal Siakam, a powerhouse averaging 21.2 points, known for his dynamic mix of skills and athleticism. This matchup could be a game-changer. Betting-wise, Utah's been so-so against the spread, standing at 13-14, and they're not exactly road warriors. Yet, they've been hitting the over recently. Toronto's betting game is shaky, with a 10-15-1 against the spread record. They're a bit more solid on their home court, but they've been leaning towards the under in recent matchups. Weighing up their overall mojo and recent plays, and considering it's a back-to-back game for the Raptors, who've got a mixed bag in such situations, the odds tip slightly in favor of Toronto. The home court advantage could be their ace, but don't count out the Jazz, especially if Markkanen brings his A game. Wrapping it up, my analytics and stat deep dive suggest the Raptors might clinch this, but considering both teams' pace, I'm betting the total points won't jump over 230. The next prediction is for the match between Cleveland Cavaliers and Chicago Bulls. The Cleveland Cavaliers, boasting a solid 16-13 record, are hitting the hardwood for an away game at the United Center, squaring off against the Chicago Bulls, who are trailing a bit at 13-17. The Bulls are riding the high of a three-game hot streak and are looking to leverage their home court stronghold at the United Center. They're tipped as the five-point front runners for this face-off, with the game's total score predicted to hover around 219 points. Chicago's on-court hustle has been turning heads, especially their knack for outperforming the spread in their recent showdowns, 
hitting the mark in nine out of their last ten games. This shows they're rolling with some serious momentum, a key playmaker in high-tension matchups. Diving into the digits, the Bulls are netting an average of 110.5 points per game, a shade less than the Cavaliers' 112.1 but the Bulls have upped their game offensively, slamming in 117.7 points on average in their recent 10 games. Their defense isn't slacking either, holding opponents to 111.8 points lately, just under their season norm of 112.5. Chicago's D-game and board control, ranking 12th and 22nd in the league, will be crucial in this clash. On the flip side, the Cavaliers have been rock steady, with their offense and defense almost neck and neck, scoring and conceding 112.1 and 112.4 points per game, respectively. They've got a slight edge over the Bulls in rebounds and assists, which could be a game-changer in their playbook. Player fitness and lineup availability are also key. The Cavs might be missing some aces like Garland, Mobley, and possibly Mitchell. That's a tough break against a Chicago squad that's finding its groove, especially in the scoring department. These absences might make it hard for the Cavs to match the Bulls' scoring sprint. Looking at past matchups, the Cavs have had the upper hand over the Bulls, sweeping all four games last season. But with the current vibe, momentum, and the Bulls playing on their turf, Chicago seems poised to have the edge this time around. Given the current dynamics, injuries, and the home court factor, I'm betting on the Chicago Bulls to clinch a nail-biter. They're likely to beat the spread, riding their recent wave of success and capitalizing on the Cavaliers' potential missing key players. Keep tabs on the Cavs' injury updates. With the game's current landscape and the injury situation, my bet is on the Chicago Bulls to win and beat the minus five-point spread. In any other situation, particularly if there are changes to the Cavaliers' injury list, I wager that the total score will not exceed 219.5 points. The next prediction is for the match between Los Angeles Lakers and Oklahoma City Thunder. Tonight's showdown between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Oklahoma City Thunder promises to be a thrilling clash on the hardwood. Each squad has been flexing their basketball muscle this season, making it tough to predict the victor. The Thunder, holding the number two spot in the Western Conference with a solid 18-8 record, have been showing their might. Their scoring game is sharp, sitting fifth in the league with an average of 120.7 points per game. However, they're not as strong on the boards, ranking 26th with an average of 41.4 rebounds per game. This could be a pivotal point in tonight's game, especially against the Lakers, who are known for their strong rebounding game. The Lakers, key players in the Pacific Division, bring their own brand of basketball to the court. They've been notable for their steady play and grit this season. While the Thunder may outscore them, the Lakers' cohesive team play and expertise, especially under pressure, might just tip the scales. Looking at the recent home games of both teams, it's clear that playing on familiar turf is a significant advantage. The Thunder have been masters at dominating games on their home court, which could give them the upper hand tonight. Analyzing head-to-head -head stats and recent form, both teams are neck and neck in competitiveness. This makes picking a clear winner tough, as the outcome could hinge on small factors like individual player performance on the day, tactical shifts, or even a stroke of luck. Taking all this into account, the prediction slightly favors the Oklahoma City Thunder, thanks to their impressive scoring prowess and the advantage of playing at home. But don't count out a surprise from the Lakers with their resilience and seasoned play. In summary, I'm bracing for a nail-biter with the Thunder having a minor advantage. They might clinch the win, but I'm betting on the Los Angeles Lakers to beat the plus five point spread. For those doubting the Lakers, consider betting on total points to exceed 237. Both teams are known for their quick transitions and rapid offense. They rank in the top 10 for fast break points per game and overall game tempo. The last face-off between these two went over the total, and I'm expecting a similar outcome tonight. The next prediction is for the match between San Antonio Spurs and Dallas Mavericks. In tonight's highly anticipated showdown, the Dallas Mavericks are set to roll out the red carpet for the San Antonio Spurs at the American Airlines Center, setting the stage for a game full of suspense and strategy. 
currently boasting a 16-12 record, the Mavericks are eager to snap out of a three-game slump, especially after their recent 122-96 tumble against the Rockets. Luka Doncic, the Mavericks star, has been lighting up the scoreboard with an average of 32. Seven points per game, along with 8.4 rebounds and 9.1 assists. Yet the Mavericks find themselves in a tight spot, juggling multiple injuries. With key players like Doncic, Kyrie Irving, Maxi Kleber, Dante Exum, Derek Lively, and Josh Green sidelined, their game plan and execution tonight could face significant challenges. The Spurs, on the other hand, are gearing up for a comeback, despite a less-than-stellar 4-23 record. They're still reeling from a 114-95 blow by the Bulls. Keldon Johnson, a crucial piece in the Spurs puzzle, is a game-time decision due to a back issue, potentially tipping the scales of team performance. The Spurs will be counting on Devin Vassell and Victor Wimbanyama to make impactful plays. In the world of betting, the Mavericks have been pegged as the front runners with a minus 7.5 point spread, and the total is hovering around 238.5. Despite the odds leaning towards the Mavericks, the Spurs are not without their merits in the betting arena. Considering the Mavericks' injury woes, the Spurs might justify the odds, possibly covering the spread or even snatching a victory, especially if their key players rise to the occasion. Prop bet insights suggest that Wembanyama and Doncic are set to steal the show, hinting that the face-offs between individual players could be pivotal in swaying the game's direction. Predicting tonight's outcome is a tightrope walk. The Mavericks, despite their injury challenges, have home turf advantage and a superior record. However, the Spurs could exploit the Mavericks' weakened roster for a surprise win. My analysis leans towards a Mavericks victory, but with the Spurs likely covering the spread, given the absence of key Mavericks players. My wager for tonight's spectacle, I'm backing the Mavericks for the win, but banking on the Spurs to beat the seven-point spread. Just a heads up, this prediction is grounded in the latest stats, team performances, and injury updates. Make sure you're up to date with the latest info before placing your bets. The next prediction is for the match between Portland Trail Blazers and Golden State Warriors. Tonight's basketball clash at the Chase Center is nothing short of electric, with the Portland Trail Blazers and the Golden State Warriors set to light up the hardwood. The Warriors, boasting a 500 record, have turned their home turf into a fortress stringing together seven consecutive victories in San Francisco. The Trailblazers, however, are in a tight spot with a 7-20 record, finding rough terrain, especially when playing away. On the player front, Jeremy Grant is spearheading the Blazers' efforts, dropping an impressive 22.6 points on average. DeAndre Ayton is also making waves with a solid 13.1 points and 11 rebounds a game. The Warriors' lineup is bolstered by the likes of Dario Saric and Kevin Looney, who are consistently delivering and adding depth to their squad. Current stats and form tip the scales in favor of the Warriors, especially with their home court prowess. The Blazers, battling inconsistencies on the road, need to bring their A-game to stand a chance of toppling the Warriors on their own ground. An interesting twist to tonight's game is the back-to-back play for the Warriors. The strain of consecutive games could sway their performance against the Blazers. This season, the Warriors have a commendable track record in back-to-back scenarios coming off a narrow victory against the Blazers in their previous encounter. Betting odds lean towards the Warriors by 9.5 points. However, the Blazers have a knack for beating the spread more often this season. Considering their current scoring and rebounding struggles, they're facing a steep climb. Wrapping up, while the Warriors look poised to take the win with their dominant home form and the Blazers' away game struggles, the back-to-back factor and Portland's determination could narrow the gap. My bet is on the Blazers to beat the 9.5-point spread despite the hurdles ahead. The last prediction for today is for the matchup between Minnesota Timberwolves and Sacramento Kings. In the upcoming hardwood clash, the soaring Minnesota Timberwolves are gearing up to take on the mighty Sacramento Kings at Sacramento's Golden One Center. The Timberwolves are riding a wave of success, having clinched 10 victories in their last 12 outings. Their recent triumph over the Lakers, spearheaded by Anthony Edwards, has been a highlight. This team is a dual threat, boasting the 17th spot in league scoring and dominating defensively 
with the lowest points allowed. They're also a force on the boards, ranking ninth in rebounds per game. The Kings, on the flip side, shook off a defeat to the Celtics and rallied to overpower the Suns. They've been lighting up the scoreboard with an average of 118.2 points, shooting at 47.1%, while their defense allows a similar score at 49.1% shooting. De'Aaron Fox has been the linchpin for the Kings, dropping an average of 30.1 points and grabbing 4.4 rebounds per game. Moreover, their prowess from beyond the arc is undeniable, as they sit second in the league for three-pointers made. Bookies are leaning towards the Kings, who have a two-point edge in the spread. It's crucial to note that the Timberwolves will be missing Carl Anthony Towns, a key player in this face-off. Historically, the Kings have had the upper hand over the Timberwolves, even handing them their sole home court loss this season. Analyzing recent form and statistics, I'm tipping the scales in favor of the Sacramento Kings for this showdown. The Timberwolves' injury woes and the Kings' offensive dynamism, especially from the three-point line, could be decisive. Expect a nail-biter showcasing the competitive spirit of both squads. However, the Kings face a challenge, having stumbled in their last three back-to-back games. This factor might sway the scales in favor of the more rested Timberwolves. Summing up, while the Timberwolves have shown tenacity and skill, the Kings' scoring ability and the advantage of playing at home might just tip the balance in their favor. My money's on the Sacramento Kings to clinch this one. All right, hoopheads, that's the buzzer for today's predictions. Big thanks for rolling with us. If you're vibing with our picks, slam that subscribe button and get on board. Catch you on the court tomorrow. Peace.